It's 6 a.m. as I record this, so I can't be super loud. So just know that we you seen the thumbnail. You know what we're doing. Skirt, skirt. Now, before we begin, I want to state that this video is a companion video to both the shift cars and drive driver video. So watch those either before or after this, so all the information you get in this video goes full circle. And secondly, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more Common Rider Explained goodness. Okay, shilling out of the way, let's go. Drive has a total of six forms or types as they are called in the series and four others that appear in movies and specials respectively. Most of these forms come by way of type chain shift cars which act as Mr. Belt's eyes and ears on the field, while two exclusive forms are accessible in the mock driver Hono, so you might want to check that video out about those. The first three types are considered standard types and are the core of drives' forms until episode 16. Type speed comes by way of the shift speed car and is drive's default red form. On top of being the most balanced of the forms, this ability is as its name implies, fast. This form also has an attack called Turbo Smash, which sees Drive's chest tire rotate rapidly as he drifts at a target and launch them into the air, then unleashes a flurry of punches on the descending target. This form's finisher, Speed Drop, sees Drive focus energy into his right leg before clapping at a target with a flying sidekick. The best version of these finishers sees Drive summoning four spinning tires around a target while Triteron races around them. As the four tires close in on a target and launch them towards Drive, they leap and kick at Triteron, resulting in them bouncing off and hitting the target. The following can also be described as Drive kicking a target in a pinball manner while continuing to bounce off of Triteron after each kick. In two separate movies, Drive uses Max Flare and Midnight Shadow respectively to create an even doper variant of this move. And man, my man's girl, the whip, she gets the whip, the, she drives the whip while he proceeds to put his foot off in somebody's. And the last thing I want to mention is that while Drive can use any shift car for tire exchange in this form, the speed style shift cars are the ones that truly make this form shine. Using the shift wild car, Drive can assume the off-road powerhouse type wild. Sacrificing speed for boosting strength, this form comes with its enhanced strength and defensive capabilities. To back this up, this form gave Chase the work after speed couldn't. Because this form's tire is on the shoulder, it can be used for shoulder checks and for guarding attacks more effectively. And because this form's physical strength is so great, Drive can use powered style shift cars with ease versus using them in speed and the use of the handle can more effectively. Though this form's finisher is Wild Drop, I couldn't really find anything on it. But Wild Dump has a finisher with this form called Drumble, which sees Drive using the Rumble Smasher to smash a target at great forces while the drill head spins at high speeds. Using the shift technique shift car, Drive has access to a garbage truck marksman type form called Type Technique. In terms of offense, this one sits in the middle of speed and while, while being the slowest of the three, but in exchange for that lack of speed, this form has perfect precision. This is represented at this form having eyes in the back of its helmet, allowing for double vision and analysis, and allowing Drive to react to any changes on the field, while also being able to narrow down potential weak spots. This form also makes fantastic use of the door Jugun, Drive's personal UWAP in the technique style shift cars, which excel in controlling the ebb and flow of battle. And this form's finisher is Technique Drop, and again, I couldn't really find anything on it. Rescue Braver does have a finisher in this form called Rescue Down, which sees Drive creating a ladder extender to grab a target and bring them down towards him, followed by a powerful sidekick to their chest. After the creation of the Mock Driver Hono, oh no, the Drive Driver gains two upgrades, the Next System and the Advanced System. The Next System allows for the use of the shift car slash signal bike, Dead Heat, which when used when the Drive Driver allows Drive's motorcycle and car based form to be attained and is probably one of the most anime things in Kamen Rider. On top of being superior to all of the other forms mentioned previously, this form's true ability is to emulate Hearts' Dead Zone. And now, quick tangent, aka Dead Zone Explained. The Dead Zone is a special technique accessible by Kamen Rider's Drive, Mach, and even the Roy Mute Leader himself, Heart. By building up mass amounts of latent energy, a user's combat capabilities are significantly increased, to such a degree that many of their physical attacks cause nearby explosions on contact as a side effect. For the original user Heart, he amplifies his internal system's power to go beyond their normal limits by using his heart as a medium to pump the power throughout his body, making him a considerable threat for a majority of the series. 
Now, I say all of that to give you full context of what I'm gonna say next. Dead Heat's use of the dead zone is superior to Hart's use of the dead zone. This statement does not mean that this form is stronger than Hart at all, but boasts a better show of control of dead zone's energy compared to the Roy Mute. This form can even function under the effect of super heavy acceleration, but will suffer a very noticeable ability decrease as a result. Because of how this shift car functions with the drive driver, no true full throttle finisher can be formed. Instead, drive uses the dead zone energy to overwhelm a target with the raw physical power this form grants. This is called the dead heat drop. Now this form can use tire exchange shift cars too, and when in conjunction with the max flare, drive can perform a version of dead heat drop which coats his already dead zone powered attacks with fire. Cause why? Why? This shit's overkill, man! The next up is the advanced system created to supersede all systems mentioned previously and allows drive to become more powerful. Shift formula gives way to type formula and its proto dubs the second favorite driver form. Based on the visage of a Formula 1 race car, this form's speed and power is extremely high. Saying that this form is a step higher than dead heat is an understatement as this form functions in super heavy acceleration field way better than the aforementioned type. Looks can be deceiving as this bulky form is both faster and stronger than any of the ones I've mentioned previously, being so fast that it also comes with a level of wind manipulation. In fact, if shift formula is lifted three times, drive can go into speeds on the same level of g-force, and this includes full throttles in this form as well. The only drawback to this form was the long-term use of it, which would damage both the user and the system by way of an electrical overload. To mitigate this, Rena created the pit crew. Shift car is designed to aid and repair any damages inflicted on the system while formula is activated. And I can't be mad at that, cause that's called theming. This form's formula is formula drop, which sees drive covered in blue energy and then whops the target with the flying sidekick. In the Yongo movie, formula is shown using a full throttle with four additional shifts, increasing the power of the finisher while having the possibility of blowing up with the target in the process. Formula drop can also see drive repeating the blue energy aura, which he then uses to blitz a target and hit them with a double punch. Granted, this is technically an unnamed move because immediately after this attack, Shinosuke suffered from the whiplash because that's how much g-force was generated from that attack. And lastly, this form comes with the Trailer Ho, the powerful cannon that utilizes the power of up to three shift cars to properly put someone on a t-shirt. Every other finisher we see Formula do for the rest of the series is with this weapon, so I won't really go into much with that one, but I will show that clip because, you know, it's sick. And last form in the series is Triteron, the advanced system's ultimate form. This form is the evolved form of type speed, seeing that the entire Triteron car is used for this form's armor. This form obviously supersedes every other form I've mentioned in terms of strength, speed, and overall power, while boasting new abilities such as Mr. Belt assuming control of Triteron's body, energy shielding, and this form's special ability, tire blending. By activating the ignition button and then pressing shift Triteron's combo button, Triteron can combine three tire exchange shift cars for a set into a unified shift tire with powers of all three combined at their disposal. This includes the abilities of the tire specific items of the shift cars used in that combination as well. And it's even shown to combine the power of all of the tire exchange shift cars into a single glowing white tire, theoretically being able to use all the powers at once. There are seven tire blending combos in total, but only three have been seen in the series, so I'll at least mention those. Attack 123 is the amalgamation of Max Flare, Funky Spike, and Midnight Shadow. This tire simply allows for all three abilities to be used in consecutive combos, while each of them can be amplified by their power tenfold. People Saver sees the union of Justice Hunter, Mad Doctor, and Fire Braver, and comes equipped with a feature called the Red Alert Units. This feature functions as Drive's scanning device, allowing for detection and location of civilian casualties of nearby destruction, allowing them to act accordingly. And the Konju Genbar, which sees the merging of Rumble Dump, Spin Mixture, and Rolling Gravity. This tire functions similar to People Saver, as it allows Drive to analyze the battlefield around them to locate potential hazards that could affect civilians, and it can also create concrete bullets with pinpoint precision due to the specific nature of the three ship cars chosen. And again, the other four have not been seen in the series, but let me know what you think their amalgam abilities do in the comment section below. And this form's finisher is Tri-Drop, which sees Drive focusing the power into their leg before slamming a target with a flying sidekick. 
Depending on the tire blending shift car used, this can either enhance or change the function of that shift car. Tires like Attack 1, 2, 3 would make a more powerful yet colorful version of the Tri Drop, while People Saver has like two variations on its own. One variation sees targets being trapped in an energy prison before being launched into the air and then hit by an energized punch, while another sees all three of the tire specific items being used simultaneously for various tasks. Now this is just a speculation from me, but I assume that all of the other tire blending forms have the ability to use multiple tire specific items at once, but never properly seen in the series. If you agree or disagree, I would like to hear what you think about that in the comment section as well. Now. Because Drive has more forms because of movie appearances, we're going to cover those as well. That means there's four additional ones we need to look at, and we'll do them in order of appearance. Using the Shift Fruits car in the movie War Full Throttle, Drive gains a Gaim-inspired type fruits. In terms of being on par with Type Dead Heat in terms of power minus the Dead Zone, this form also comes with a Muso Saber and a Dai Dai Maru, allowing Drive to channel the power Fruit Jesus gave him. This form doesn't really have an official finisher, by the way. I don't know why, but it, but it doesn't. In their second Hyper Battle DVD, we are introduced to the Shift High Speed car, and as a result, Type High Speed. High Speed is nothing more than the alternate color of Type Speed, being identical to Type Speed in every way, minus the style categories. And by style, I mean fashion. And this form's finisher is High Speed Drop, which sees Drive performing the base speed drop, but a lot more flashier than normal. During the events of Surprise Future and using the special side of the Shift Next special car, Drive can assume Type Special. This futuristic car combines the powers of present and future Drive into one form. And though this form is slower than Formula, this is Drive's most powerful form to date. This form was able to swap hands with an opponent who could wash every other form of Drive prior to this and came from the future, so he kind of knew that stuff. They can even summon other weapons, such as the Shingo Axe, to use in combat as well. This form's finisher is Speed Drop Type Special, which sees Drive punching a target into the air while the next Trider on surrounds them in a blue energy sphere. Drive then leaps upwards and delivers a powerfully charged yellow covered lightning rider kick, destroying the target on impact. And finally, we have Zero Drive, which comes by way of the Shift Speed Prototype car in the Super War Movie Genesis. In appearance, it's just a color inverted version of Type Speed, but it's actually a more limited version of it. Because of this, it's definitely the weakest of Drive's forms, but due to a user's experience, one could bypass all these drawbacks. This form's finisher is Zero Drop, which hasn't been seen, but one can apply maybe a weaker version of Type Speed, Speed Drop. And ending on the weakest form is a weird note to end on, but we're done. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to give me a like. As I said before, subscribe to the channel for more Common Writer Explain goodness. In the comments section below, let me know what your favorite forms of drive are. I was going to say favorite aspects of the drive forms, but you know what? That works too. Let me know what you like about them all together. I mean, I'm in the same boat as Proto Doves. I am a huge fan of Formula and Next. However, if I had to say it, Dead Heat. Dead Heat's definitively my all time favorite. So I'm going to go fan out about that a little more while I go work on some more stuff. You take care of yourself, Pip. Have a great rest of the day. I'm Lambo Calrissian reminding you guys to keep calm and toku on. And my belt is straight. My tie is on. And um, shifting the turbo.